what I like to discuss today is honestly something I feel like low key that's in the back of the mind of a lot of uh, black men when it comes to black women. I mean, you, I mean, anybody who be who um, be on YouTube, quote unquote, black manosphere, you probably heard um, people like um, Jada Black, um, Tommy. So- you definitely hear Tommy Soma. You're talking about this. Uh, you hear. Uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson, uh, Ringo TV, Raw, another day TV, um, are both by, ran by Ringo. And um, you hear them how they speak of the uh, behaviors of you know, black women today. Now, what I want to talk about is because of these um, behaviors and because of these, um, what was constantly seen both in the media and what's being portrayed, is it possible that we now live in a time where a lot of black men, when they do see a black woman, the first thing that may come into their mind is something like, you know, welfare recipient, baby mama, thought, hoe, uh, bitch, um, stink attitude, and stuff like that. Without even knowing a woman, the first thing that comes to mind will be those things. And after I, I was thinking about this as I was walking to my uh, work building this morning, and I realized, you know what, that thought is in my mind too. Like, whenever I see the average you know, black woman, that's what comes to mind, whether I know her or not. And the reason why that comes to mind is because that is just the image that's been placed out there. And this is not an image. They may try to say placed out there by um, the media. A lot of this this particular activity, I have personally seen black women acting like this, and they filming themselves doing this and posting it online. So um, my thought on this is the fact that, you know, for example, if I see a group of white women or even a group of mixed white uh, and Asian women, you know, wearing something like short shorts, you know, because it's high outside, I'm going to think, okay, they dress for the weather. I'm not going to think nothing of it. I'm not going to think they're doing that to get sexual attention and stuff like that. But if I see a group of black women doing the same, the first thing that comes to mind, like, okay, these bunch of project hosts are just doing <coughs> more attention. It, it, it automatically comes to mind because in images like that, <laughs> the first thing, you, we, we see images like this and videos like this all the time of these chicks, you know, just in, in public twerking and everything. Now, my thing is, have you ever seen any other race of women in public twerking and wagging a right ass like that? No, you never see that. Yeah, um... Things like you said, we don't. You don't see other races of women, you know. You don't see a group of Asian women, you know, in public, you know, twerking and stuff like that. After when they wearing booty shorts at the beach, you don't see a group of white chicks or even what Hispanic chicks or even um, Middle Eastern chicks doing that. Uh, Unless you see Hispanic chicks doing it. Yeah. Okay. Hispanic chicks probably do. Less. But again, not that often. Yeah, but you don't see it nowhere near to the tune how black women do it. No. And thing is, plus you have this thing all over the place place called Black Girls Rocks, you know, you see it online, you're now seeing it on network television and stuff like that, so you now it's almost like a huge campaign of telling people, you know, uh, pay attention to black girls, this and that and the other. You don't see this from, the, um, from any other race of women, like Latin Girls Rock or White Girls Rock or Asian Girls Rock. You don't see these other race of women doing all that. I will have to uh, interject right now. The... Um one of the reasons why, not the reason, why, one of the reasons why, which I understand where they come from, that they have is the fact that at the end of the day, um, as black Americans, um, or just Americans in general, who happen to have a darker skin tone than others, um, we have been, um, and I, I'm not trying to play the victim, but I'm just, just calling out it, we have been, um, how do you say, it's, just, it's been a negative connotation involving black people in general. Uh, throughout the throughout the centuries or decades or whatever you want, to, um, I guess decades more. Um, they would be centuries, but I'm gonna go with decades more. Um, and then on top of it, when you come down to the um, whole like scaling by like uh, by cash, not cash flow, but by, by net worth and um, by human worth in general. Um, even before they started, even way back in the day, like before this whole like crap started happening with the like twerking and females being like like just the black culture being destroyed before this even happened when everyone we were unified or at least our grandparents or great grandparents were unified back in the day uh black black men obviously were lowest on the total pole or lower on the total pole than uh, other uh, races of people and then females were dead ass last um and now we see seeing um so that's the reason why they were it's a, it's and basically it was painted by the media too. So it wasn't necessarily because of anything that black females did or didn't do. It's just the fact that just the history of America is obviously so um, involving slavery and stuff like that. Um, but I will say, as black men, for a decent part, we have 
um, not overcome necessarily, but we um, um, we made other um, Americans look at us in a different way. Now, at the same time, the sad thing is we're only down. We're looked at in just two different ways, which is either um, hoodlums or um, uh, bougie, upscale, a hole people. Yeah, that's but the end. but it's, at least it's, it's better than just for the most part, the black people are looking at that as whole as hoodlums. For the most part, I mean, they still have that tendency to be looked at as bougie, a whole people. But for the most part, it's mostly the negative one compared to the negative positive one of being a business a whole person. So that's the reason why they have that black girl matching black girls rock, this, uh, black girls this out of third. That's a reason why. But it's almost sound like a campaign, though. Man. It is. It is. It feels like a campaign. Campaign what? of trying to uh, undo damage that was created. Well, again, it was created not necessarily by them, but they the only the main issue is they continued it on. Like it's, instead of having like a negative thing, like the um whole like uh, again, black people in told whole like during segregation and obviously slave slavery times, whatever. But we we're we're past that a while ago, and and even other and even like um during World War was it two with but, the whole Japanese inter inter came inter how do you say. It? The camps, yeah, when you, uh, camp, camp. separate internment camps. When you separated Japanese Americans from regular, uh, from other Americans, whatever, they've overcome that, and now and they're back to being productive, for the most part, productive Americans in the United States compared to black people, which at the time when we were unified, we were basically better, well, better off. If we weren't doing this crappy bullshit, killing each other, and even going out and killing other people for no fucking reason. We weren't doing it that much. It still exists no matter like no matter what. There was like still crime going on, but for the rate that it is today, not even close. So that's where I'm saying that's where it came from. But now, like I said, as black men, we as uh, uh, we up, to, uh, I can't even say we as uh, terrible. That's that's not even English. We as uh, we uplifted ourselves to a point which will, the sad thing we're only categorized in two separate like categories either. Yeah. Bougie businessman tycoon actor entertainer or whatever or um, hoodlum rapist murderer guy pretty much so yeah but here's the thing this all this this campaign of black girl rocks and they how this gonna affect the next generation of black men you know uh, the ones who's growing up seeing all this you know pam- uh, pampering towards you no know, black girls and divorce you know appear to be black women why they themselves being raised in a single mother home and stuff like that. I think how would this affect the minds of the next generation of black men? That and uh, I mean, the thing is, because I don't think the millennial females who now the, old, the elders of the millennial females are pretty much in their thirties, thirty mid to um, in their mid thirties now, and um, a lot of them pretty much single mom, mother of boys. Yeah, with no yeah with no positive male influence, you know, and they be cooperating that black girl rock. So like, you got your mind, you're not raising a girl, you're raising a boy. It's gonna be worse. I was gonna originally before you before you continue on. I was gonna say it's gonna be about the same as right now, but it's gonna be worse because for one, we have. Uh, I know we weren't gonna talk about the PC culture thing, but I do have to bring it in. Yeah, because um, the thing I've been saying for months now, and I even had this conversation with my girlfriend last night because um, we were listening to the. Um, and again, I don't want to throw any crap at the Breakfast Club, but I, I was on a rant yesterday when my um, you know, girlfriend were. Um, Doing, run some errands, whatever. We're listening to an episode this week mm-hmm. in which um, Charlemagne again. I'm not trying to get off topic, but just getting to back to it. Charlemagne was going off on um, the white devils and all the racist people. The thing with the Charlottesville thing, and there was a um, there was a, a black caller, a, a black dude in, um, in Maryland. He was saying like, dude, stop calling them that because if someone else, if a white person calls in and say call you guys the N word, you're gonna have a problem with that. And that's pretty much what he said. And then he got into and then Charlotte's like, no, well, there's a difference because um, we're separating the two. We are saying that white people who are good white people are good white people, and the white devils are white devils because they're racist and they hate people and they're starting these um, riots. And even more detail, just to, one, first of all, it was a protest for white nationalists and all other crap like that. They, it was a protest. It wasn't any violence to another group that poses a different um, opinion that's when the riot started. So at the end of the day, I'm tired of them keep blaming the white nationalists, solely blaming the white nationalists. And I'm not saying this white nationalists didn't do anything at all, but it was a it was a protest saying, don't take down this damn statue and we white power and all that other crap like that. That's what, the, that's what it was about, or that's some of what it was about. I don't know exactly what it was about, but that's some of, it, some of what it was about. It was no fighting until 
another group came in. So there it is. But anyway, going back, the main thing, I, the reason why I was even saying that part is the fact that I always say that um, black people, in, black people in America, are always try to be both the victim and the victimizers, or the victims and the um, assailants. Mm -hmm. Always, for some, in in this new PC culture, is pushing it harder, faster than before. Yeah, but a lot of blacks seem to wake up. Even though so we're not doing the PC, say that. But the thing is, I got something to say about that because um, that recent event that happened in Charlotte, on Charlottesville. Virginia, um, see a lot of blacks and a lot of people are offended by that, but the thing is what about groups like the um, black Hebrew Israelites who constantly be on the corners about every week spouting off racist, racist stuff? That's when the, exactly, it's going to be if if, that, if these groups being attacked, right, then somebody's going to say, okay, then what about these BHI groups? That's what I'm saying, the and thing? the same thing with uh, Black Lives Matter. I don't like them, but I don't, at, um, they're like, and it's a lot of people saying that they're a hate group now as well, and again, I didn't look that much into it, but at the same time, I have seen them in riots and, and stealing and stuff like that, and again, it, for some, all we know, it could have been just some invaders who are having me black, and they're like, oh, I can take this opportunity to cause some drama and get some free shit. I don't know. I'm not in it. I'm not over it. It could have easily been that. Yeah, it could have been. It's, it's a lot, you know, there's a lot of people among blacks who, who are that type of opportunists. You know? Yeah. It could have easily been that. So you could have easily had a, um, a supposed peaceful protest that might turn into a riot because somebody saw it as an opportunity to um, loot. Yeah, I mean, and then possibly the same thing with this whole white nationalist thing too could have been the same situation. Uh, some, uh, and again, I'm not trying to drag anybody. I'm just trying to keep the skills as equal as possible. And then at the end of the day, um, Black Lives Matter, they could have been like, hey. but at the same time, Black Lives Matter could have actually started riots and all that crap like that. We don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. I'm just saying a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this the. But going back to the, the, the main question you asked, like, yeah, it's it's going to get worse because, like I said, the, um, we as black Americans, we have this um, somehow, and I even, the funny thing is, I was talking about, um, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, my girlfriend's white, so I was like, the f ironic thing is, because we were just having this long conversation about Charlottesville, and I was like, the, the worst thing is the fact that, um, as as, um, as white people, it's your fault in both ways, it's your fault that... Um, that how do I say it? how did I say it exactly? I, I need to say it. Um, basically, I was saying the fact that um, how um, black people and other races of people can um, get away with uh, spouting all these like crazy toxic rhetoric without getting any any yeah. repercussions. It's white people's fault for not dealing with it in the first place, and it's white people's fault for hyping it up and letting it continue on. So they're attacking each their selves actually at this point in time because we have like. Liberal, liberal people, such as HHW or stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, who have to be, who has the power, and most of them have to be either Jewish or white people. Um, there's a difference, and then we have the other white people, working class people, who don't have that much power, who's having to deal with this shit, having that shit pushed back in their face by black people, Hispanic people, Muslims, but like, oh, you guys are racist, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, the, those working class white people, for the most part, aren't calling you a tau headed inward or inward in general or in a spec for the most part they're not doing it some are but not most of them are and now they're the white people with power are getting white people without that much power uh, or power at all um, into some shit so and that's what I'm saying like it's, it's funny how that is yeah like I said the whole thing is just weird and um before that go yeah the whole thing is just I like to say when I first heard about it and I'm like okay alright um, why is this happening that's what I was. Uh, I think I think the whole matter and what uh, we're trying to call everybody off guard. Where yeah. everybody, I'm like, oh, like they doing what over there? I'm like who? I like, was only paying attention to it. Like I, uh, on my phone, I kept seeing these news, um, these um, notifications or excuse me for my email saying oh, this that third's going to show up. I was like, oh, uh, that's I guess that because uh, I had woke up that very morning. My uncle um, had texted, like, yo, you guys, because he knows we live in Virginia. He's like, yo, you guys watch out for that um, Charlottesville uh, right. I was like, what? And that was the first message I read when I woke up that morning. And then I got on my, um, uh, my head got a, a notification from uh, my um, email, and it was, like, saying the same thing. I was like, what? I guess it's true. And then I just went on about my day because I don't really freaking care because I don't care about that. Um, and you, just, you can get angry at me for not caring about it, but it's not really affecting me. I I know what I believe in, and I I don't believe in the crap that was going on. There. Simple as that. But for the whole um, yeah, so for the whole victimizing, 